This is MB Now, and here are your news on web. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte assured Philippine athletes of the government's full support as he honored those who competed in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. The president who led the awarding ceremony for the Philippine Olympians in Malacanang last night, August 23, thanked the Philippine Olympic Committee and the Philippine Sports Commission for the unwavering support and strong efforts in securing the Philippine athletes' relatives and other awards from the government. The other non-medal athletes who competed in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics received 200,000 pesos. President Duterte also awarded boxer Mansueto Onyok Velasco 500,000 pesos and the Order of Lapu Lapu rank of Kamagi medal for taking home a silver medal from the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. Rest assured that the government remains committed in providing full support to our Filipino athletes. In this regard, I enjoin the Philippine Sports Commission, the Philippine Olympic Committee, and of the sports bodies to continue providing much needed assistance to keep our athletes on top of their game and to help them become all-time greats. A six-week modified enhanced community quarantine or MECQ with improved interventions may result to a lower number of active COVID-19 cases in Metro Manila by the end of September according to the Department of Health. Based on the projection of the DOH and modeling tool FASTER, active cases in the National Capital Region may reach up to 66,403 by August 31 and 269,694 by September 30 if the region is under a two-week ECQ and four-week MECQ. The projections were also made under the condition that the current level of vaccination, the prevent, detect, isolate, treat, reintegrate, or PDITR strategies, and compliance to minimum public health standards will be maintained. Pfizer's vaccine will be available in local drug stores after it received full approval from the United States Food and Drug Administration, according to presidential spokesman Harry Roque. During a virtual press briefing this afternoon, August 24, the palace official noted that Pfizer's COVID-19 was also the first vaccine to receive the emergency use authorization from the U.S. FDA. In a survey, 3 out of 10 unvaccinated individuals said they are willing to get their COVID jobs as long as the vaccine received full approval from the FDA. Roque said the Pfizer BioNTech still has to be granted with commercial use approval by the Philippine FDA, but he believes this will be a non-issue. U.S. COVID-19 new cases, hospitalization, and deaths continue to climb due to the spread of the highly contagious Delta variant, according to the data showed by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The current 7-day moving average of daily new cases increased 14.0% compared with the previous 7-day moving average. The total COVID-19 infections in the U.S. are over 37.8 million, with more than 629 deaths according to a tally updated Monday afternoon by the Johns Hopkins University. As of Sunday, 51.5% of the total U.S. population had been fully vaccinated, according to the CDC data. K-pop girl group Red Velvet member Joy asked fans for understanding and support for her relationship with R&B singer Crush. Joy wrote a letter to fans on the fan community app Lysin to apologize and ask for their support. Joy apologized to her fans for surprising them and for giving them something to worry about, especially that Red Velvet just made a comeback. Joy hopes for her fans to understand her and support her. News of their relationship came just one week after Red Velvet made their comeback last August 16 with the album Queendom. Miss Asia Pacific International 2018 Sharifa Akil is set to marry 2nd District Maguindanao Representative Esmael Toto Mangodatatu on Wednesday, August 25. Hardcore pageant fans expressed sadness and said sayang as many believe that Sharifa has still so much to offer in pageantry. Many believe that she could still be a contender for Miss Universe or Miss World. Sharifa's Miss Asia Pacific and Mutiana Pilipinas family congratulated her. Mutiana Pilipinas President Cory Carino said that to many, she was a Miss Universe hopeful, but her decision to embrace love opens up the universe in more ways than simply winning a pageant crown. Former Mutiana Pilipinas President Hemeline Escudero Tamayo and President of the Miss Asia Pacific International pageant Jacqueline Tan Sanz also extended their congratulations to the future couple. Para swimmer Gary Begino is expected to set the tone for the Philippine team when he becomes the first Filipino to see action in the Tokyo Paralympics set to officially start today, August 24. 
Bejino will plunge into action in the morning heats of the men's 200-meter individual medley SM6 on Thursday, August 26 at the Tokyo Aquatic Center. The Philippine team suffered a blow prior to the start of the Paralympics when members of the delegation including one of the six qualified athletes tested positive for COVID-19. The Philippine Paralympic Committee has yet to give further details including the name of the athlete although it assured that they were all already in isolation for proper medical care. Meanwhile, the Philippine Basketball Association finally received the approval from the provincial government of Pampanga for the resumption of the PBA Philippine Cup at the campus of Don Honorio Ventura State University in Bacolor. The PBA has yet to announce a definite timetable as to when the suspended season opening conference will resume. And those are the news on web. For more news and updates, follow our official social media pages or log on to www.mb.com.ph. Be fully informed.